Hello, and welcome to the Zim JavaScript Canvas Framework. We're going to show you some examples of Zim at zimjs.com, and I'm Dr. Abstract. Let's go into the site now at zimjs.com. We'll go into the examples, and we'll scroll on down until we see the collective coloring example. So we'll press that. What collective coloring is, is uh, multiple people across the world even can color this very same egg. So uh, let's um, see if I F11 this, I think I've got another one open. So now we have two eggs, and I'm going to be coloring in, well, we'll color in pink in this one. So as I color in pink, you can see it shows up in the other one as well. And then here, I'm coloring in green. I can color over top of what somebody else has been coloring, but also color wherever I want. Uh, isn't that neat? And so we'll try some blue now. Oh, so pretty. And over here, somebody else might be coloring some browns. La -de 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 -de. Very nice, and so forth. Cool thing, too, is if you're new and you come on in, watch this. This is what it would look like. We refresh here. When the egg shows in, it animates all of what's been colored so far. <laughs> so this is using ZimSocket, which is a nice, easy way to do multi-user chats and uh, shared whiteboards and avatars and things like that. Oh, yes. Woo um, so come to Zim at zimjs.com and see how this is done. There's all sorts of possibilities uh, that you can do with, with multi-user and with Zim. I am Dr. Abstract. Have a great day or night. Ciao.